Jesus' disciples were worried. Jesus had met with them, washing their feet and telling them that one of them, Judas, would betray him. He said Peter would deny him. Mm -mm. He told them that he was going away and they couldn't come with him. The time was coming for Jesus to accomplish what he had come to earth to do. Jesus was going to die on the cross to rescue sinners. Then he was going back to heaven. Jesus' disciples were confused, so Jesus comforted them and taught them some very important truths. Don't let your heart be troubled, Jesus said. Believe in God and believe in me. Jesus was going away, but that was for their good. Jesus said that God's house has many rooms and he was going to go away and get a place ready for his followers. Then, Jesus said, I will come back so you can come with me. Jesus' disciples didn't understand. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will also know my Father. You know the Father because you know me. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, that's all we need. Why do you say that? Jesus asked. You have seen me, so you have seen the Father. Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Jesus said that his words were from God the Father. Believe my words, Jesus said. Believe because of the miracles I have done. Jesus' miracles prove he is God. He had healed the sick, raised the dead, and calmed a storm, all things that only God can do. Jesus did these things to show that he is God the Son. Jesus was going away, but he promised to give his followers someone else, God the Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be with you, Jesus said. He will teach you and remind you of everything I have told you. When Jesus was finished talking with his disciples, they left that place. God has always existed as three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Father sent the Son to rescue us from sin. He gives us the Holy Spirit to comfort us, show us our sins, and guide us as we live for God's glory.